we're going to talk about how to both sync and share your contacts, the contacts that you have in your phone. So that includes any phone numbers, email addresses, any contact information you have for anyone on your phone. This is a way for you to make sure you're retaining that in case you ever switch phones or you lose your phone. Also that if you add a contact to one of your devices, it shows up on all of your devices, which is helpful. And also how to share a contact with someone else. So we'll look at all of those today. So let's talk about syncing and sharing your contacts. So like I was saying, if you've ever misplaced or replaced your phone and lost all your contacts, you know that that can be a big drag because nobody, I mean, maybe somebody does, but I do not remember people's phone numbers anymore. So it can be really difficult if you lose that list to build it back up again. So if you sync your contacts, you can ensure that even when you replace those devices or if you lose something, you'll still have access to your contacts because it will be linked to either your Google account or your iCloud account on iPhone. So also too, like I was saying, it's like if you add a contact on one device, it will show up on all the devices you're logged into, which is helpful. It means you don't have to go updating the contact list on each thing. And we'll also talk about how to share contact with someone else. All right, so let's start with Android. Let's talk about how to sync your contacts on Android. So for Android, you're gonna use your Google account to sync your contacts. And if you have Gmail, if you have any sort of Google thing, Gmail would be the, the most likely app that you would have. If you have Gmail, that's your Google account, right? You log into Google with the same email and password as you would to your Gmail account. So if you have a Gmail account, you already have a Google account and this will connect your contacts to that Google account. So if you log into Google, a new phone or a tablet or any computer, you'll have access to your contacts. Okay. Um, so the first thing you want to do is click on that settings app. So the one with the gear. And then once you've clicked on the settings app, you should see a screen that looks similar to this. It might be a little different based on what model phone you have, but it should look like this sort of list of different categories to click on. You're going to scroll down until you see Google. All right. So you're looking for the Google menu in your settings and you're going to click on that. So once you click on that, you'll see this on the left, you'll see this screen. Okay. So it has multiple menus on here, how you can sort of modify your Google settings. There's all sorts of things on here, but we're just going to focus on how to sync your contacts for this one. You want to make sure it's logged into your right email address there. I have mine under the Tech Talk test. So the one that we use for Tech Talk. Um, so you're going to scroll all the way down on that screen. It's actually going to be the very last thing and it will say settings for Google app. That's what you want to click on. So you're going to hit Google and then scroll all the way down and go to settings for Google app. And then you'll see a menu in there that says Google contact sync. That's what you want. You're looking for that word contacts and sync. So click on that. Okay. So you, when you do that, you should see a screen that looks like the one on the left. So it should say Google Contact Sync at the top. And you should see two little sections there that say status and then also sync device contact. You're actually going to turn both of those on, right? So the one will make sure all your contacts are synced. The other one will actually make sure all of your, make sure you're capturing all the contacts on your phone, even if they weren't initially entered through Google. So if you just put somebody's phone number in there and didn't go by way of Google, this will make sure you get every single contact you've ever put in your phone and that it's saved to your Google account. So the first thing you're going to want to do here, start with status, go ahead and click on that. You can just click anywhere in this sort of area and it'll take you to the status part. And you want to turn it on where it says automatically sync. Okay. So that means again, you know, that your contacts will sync from device to device through your Google account. So just make sure that's turned on. The little circle should be on the right. It should sort of light up a little bit like that, be that sort of brighter blue color. So this is turned on. This is what it looks like when it's turned on. So that's the first step of making sure you're all set with that. Next, you're going to go back to that screen before and click on also sync device contact. So you want to make sure that's on too. It's possible that this is already on on your phone, that it defaulted to being on. In which case, you know, it's worth checking just to make sure it is. But if it is on, if both of these are already on, then you already have, you've already synced your contacts. You already will have access to all your contacts wherever you sign into your Google account. But just to check, because you may not have this set up. Once you've done that, so go back to the other screen, go to also sync device contacts. Okay. So you're just going to click in this area and it'll take you to that. 
and you'll see this screen that says backup and sync. You want to turn this one on too, where it says automatically backup and sync device contact. You'll actually see what I have it here as right now, it's off. Again, you want to make sure that little circle goes to the right and it'll light up a little bit to make sure that that's on. And then it might also ask you if you have more than one Google account, which Google account you want this backed up to. I would just say the one that you use most often, the one that you're most often logged into on your phone, that makes sense to back up your contacts there. So that is all it takes to back up your contacts and sync them. So in the future, if you add a contact, it'll go to all your devices. It'll go, it'll link directly to, you know, it'll be connected directly to your Google account. So you'll have access to it on other devices. That's basically what all you have to do there is just change those settings. And then it'll manually do that going forward until you turn those settings off if you ever want to. Okay, this syncing contacts on iPhone is not that different. It's just a couple, the names of different sort of settings and steps are a little different. So you're going to click on the settings app, which for you to also looks like a gear. So you're going to click on that. And once you've done that, you'll see the images that I use for this are actually from an iPad, but they should look similar to your iPhone. It might just be a little bit wider. So next, when you get into settings, you're going to click where your name is, right? Your profile, you might have a picture there too. Just click on that. And once you've done that, you should see a screen that looks something like this, where you have these menus, and you should see one that says iCloud. You want to click on that one that says iCloud. And if you are an iPhone user or a Mac user, iCloud is the, that will connect all your devices, the cloud storage app for you. Google works like that for Android phones and iCloud works like that by default for iPhones and Mac products. All right. And once you click on that, you'll see something that looks like this. And basically this is asking, you know, what is it that you want to be backed up into the iCloud for you? And you want to make sure contact is turned on. So in this picture, contact is turned on. You see that green, that means it's turned on. We're focusing on contacts right now. If you want to sync these other things between your devices, you can always turn those on and off as needed as well. So like if you had a calendar that you wanted to sync between your devices, you could turn that on or you know, there's a lot of options if you scroll down. So there are lots of things that you can think right now. We're just looking at contacts. If you have more than one Mac device, it makes, makes sense to think these, or some of these things, if that's helpful to you, so that you have access to those on multiple devices. All right, that's all you got to do. So now when you're logged on to any Mac device with either your Apple ID or your iCloud account, your contacts will show up automatically. You don't have to worry about losing them. So let's say, you know, you did lose your iPhone or you lost your tablet or your iPad. You could, if you got a new one, you could log into your iCloud account, your Apple ID, and, and you would have all your contacts already saved in there. Now I'm going to talk about sharing contacts between people. So like, have you ever needed to like give someone a phone number? Um, someone else's phone number and you know you've had to type it in for that you know there's how can we make that easier is basically what i'm saying and what you can do is actually send a contact to someone directly and that they can then import to their phone as their own contact which is really simple and it doesn't require having to manually write anything down really or you know even type anything out on your phone so let's see how to do that how to send someone a contact directly the first thing you're going to do is look for your contact app that will look something like this. It'll have old person on it. This is for Android. We'll go through um, iPhone in just a second. So look for your contact app, click on that. Then you're going to scroll down and find the contact that you want to share. So this is the, the number or email address or whatever that you're sending to someone. So let's say I had a friend that I wanted to share the information for 311 with. So I, what I'd be looking for is 311 so that I can then share that with her, you will likely have a much, if you have a lot, if you store contacts in your phone, you will likely have a much longer list of contacts here. I just wanted to make it easy. Um, so that's the NYC 311. You're going to click on the contact that you want to share. I'm going to click on that 311. And we'll get a screen that looks like this, that has the, the contact information in it. And what we're going to do is come down here and click on the share icon. It's this one that looks sort of like a little V sideways. So it'll give you the option of sharing this contact either as text or as what's called a V card file or a VCF. So I want to tell you the difference between those two things. If you choose text, 
what will get sent to your recipient is basically what I've typed here. So it will say like NYC 311 and then it'll say the number. It'll all just be written out, right? So they can copy and paste that, you know, it's a little clunkier than the V card, which is what we'll talk about now. So if you choose that V card file, you can send a whole file with, all, especially if, if this contact had tons of information, you can send all of that information as a file directly to your recipient, and then they can import it into their contacts with one click. So I would definitely recommend that as a way to share contacts. I think it's much easier. It's up to you, but this is, it is it's, it's a one click thing. It, it, it's really straightforward. And I want to show you what that will look like. So for this example, I'm going to choose vCard, okay? And so that's, it popped up here. I chose vCard and it, you see it's a VCF file. And then you want, it'll give you the option to share via different apps, right? So text message, email. So I'm going to send this phone number to my friend via text message. That's what I'm going to choose, but you can choose any of these that work for you. It'll be a real similar process no matter what. So once I've clicked on messages there, I'll just enter the recipient that I want to send it to and then hit send. And just so you see, this is what they'll receive on the other end. And it's, look, it's got the little person icon, which is showing you that it's a contact. And once you click on this, it'll say import the contact. And when I do that, it'll just put this directly in my contact. So I'll have NYC 311 in there. So this is me pretending I am the recipient here. Um, so it's a really easy, that's all, you know, that's all. And you can just say, you know, here's the contact information. If you even need to say that, it's, it's tagged as like a person and it'll have the person's name on it if it was an individual. So that's all it takes. And they just click on it and say import and then they have the contact. And you send the text contact, which again, you know, there may be reasons to do this. It'll just end up looking like this. So the name of the person and their phone number. And whatever, you know, if you had an email address for them, it would look like that too. But you'll see that these are not like clickable links, really, at least not in this format. So this is a little, you'd have to do a little copying and pasting to make this work. The other is easier, I think, but just so you have options. All right. And this is how you'll do the same process of sharing a contact if you're using an iPhone, okay? Your contacts app looks a little different. It looks kind of like this person with the ABCD on the side. I'm gonna look for that and click on it. Okay, and then you're going to scroll down in your menu to the contact that you want to share. And again, you'll probably have a longer contact list than this, but to streamline it, this is what I've got on here. So again, I'm going to share this NYC 311 and you're going to click on that and then you'll get a menu that looks like this and you'll have the option to share your contact and that's what you're going to click on. All right, so click on your contact then click share contact. And like on Android, you'll see the option for sharing this via message or email or you click more there's you may have other ways of sending it so for this one again i'm going to do it by text message and this is worth noting is that on iphones they automatically send contacts as those v cards they'll go ahead and send that file for someone to import into their contacts it's helpful to know that even if you have an iphone and you're sending a v card to an android phone that'll still work and it should work vice versa too. That's part of the thing about these vCard files too is that I think they're meant to cross over different kinds of. And so I chose text message and you'll see the little vCard file is gonna pop up there and look like that blue NYC 311 there. And then I'll just type to, you know, whoever I'm sending it to. If it's someone in my contacts, I can just start typing their name and I'll see it in the drop down menu. It'll automatically pop up. Um, if you're just sending it to, you know, somebody who's not in your contacts, but you have their phone number, you just enter their phone number here and hit send right here. And your recipient will then have the option to import that into their contacts, just like with Android. So it's pretty straightforward or it's pretty streamlined. It's like, it's, it's just one thing that they click on and import. So that's everything. That's syncing and sharing contacts on Android and iPhone. And I'm